Hey guys, uh, this is Ali and uh, welcome to another tutorial for Cinema 4D. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, uh, materials and how to create uh, electric material. And now if you wonder what I mean by electric material, let's go to Cinema 4D and show you what I mean. Now, I made this quick render which is just uh, uh, for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just going to show you uh, what I mean by uh, electric material. Now. You know, obviously it doesn't look like a real electric, but yeah, it's close to. And uh, you can see I have this uh, electric going on on my spheres, and they have this uh, electric going on between them. And uh, yep, so let's jump ahead and create this. All right. So let's start. Actually, let's just delete this and let me show you what I mean by electric material. So I have here the first uh, material, which is, I think. Uh, this is the regular kind of electric, not like. Uh, and if you want to see what I mean, I mean you can see it moves like electric, uh, uh, you know, like that real electric or kind of real electric, and I have this um, a glow on it, which will make a you know looks more as a electric. And I have here the second one, which is uh, I call it like have more than one line. Which is uh, I prefer this one which is uh, the second material and also I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you wanna download them uh, so yeah let's just uh, start uh, let's cr just create a new material first alright and double click and go to color channel and go to texture and grab let's say gradient alright and keep it the same and first thing when you go to the gradient you're gonna have uh, black side and white side. So go to the right side, which is the white one, and change it to black also. And then double click on, you know, over here will be fine. Just double click and keep it black. Move it to the middle if you want. And double click again over here and create another one. Also keep it black and another one here next to it and keep it black also. Now go to the middle one which is this one, change it to white, like so, and we're gonna have this white line going on. And just you wanna move uh, yeah, your your black side to the middle, like so. And also here, do the same, and just drag it to the middle, like so. Now you see we have one straight white line. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go now to the turbulence channel and let's add some turbulence. Now, if we add a turbulence, as you can see, if we drag it more, see we have this kind of crazy turbulence going on on the white side. Now we don't need that much. You can put it to 13 if you want. That would be more like electric. Or if you want to go crazy, you know, uh, I'm not holding you. You know, you can add more if you want. It's really up to you. Uh, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you my setting. Uh, actually, I put it, I think, to 15, yeah, or 15, yep, like so. And you want to change the frequency, uh, frequency, I think, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. You want to change it to be 2, like so. Now, this is where, if you change the frequency, this is what actually the make the animation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we can play it, animate, as you can see now it's moving. And if we just take the frequency down. To zero, see it's not moving, so we can take it really high. You see now it's going crazy all over the place. So, but you don't need it that that fast. So, you know, it's really up to your taste. You can have a play, uh, do a couple of render tests, and see whatever fits your taste. So, I rather keep it to between two to four. That'd be fine. So, I'll just keep it to four for now, just for the sake of this tutorial. And now we just want to copy the channel. Just uh, go to the color again. Click on the color. Uh, click on the, the click this tab over here, next to texture, and just copy channel and go to the alpha channel. Uh, turn it on and click this tab over here and just paste channel. And now we can see we have this uh, electric uh, line going on. And it looks pretty cool, but you know it needs a color, right? So we're gonna go to the luminous uh, channel. We're gonna use the luminous channel to colorize it. If we had checked it, you see it turns white, and now you can put any color you want, maybe if you want some greeny electric, if you want some blue kind of electric, you 
can also put some blue uh, you can also use a gradient if you want uh, there's no problem uh, also the red electric I, I don't know for some reason I liked it so yeah let's just keep it real with the, the blue color and the other thing you want to do now is add the, the glow now you see this is too much glow going on the, so we want to change the outer strength which is the out strength of the uh, of the glow so if we change it to 100 for example you can see now we have more subtle glow more realistic kind of glow of uh, electric and also you want to play with the frequency uh, all right yeah you can play with it you know add some frequency maybe make it uh, 1.5 and also with a random maybe you want to play with it uh, have a play you know see whatever fits your taste I keep it to zero actually I don't play around with it I play with the radius now the radius of the of the glow here you can see it have so much glow going on so we want to change it to maybe uh, 1.5 you know we have more subtle kind of glow you can change it to two but not more than two you know you don't want it to go crazy well, let's just keep it 1.5 actually it looks way better and as you can see here we have our glow so we can grab uh, any object any primitive object so let's grab this plane and let's change uh, let's change that rotation to uh, we call it uh, minus x and let's just resize it like so make it more cell like, like this will be fine yeah alright now we can just drag our material to the plane and if we hit render we're gonna have this thing going on now don't ex accept, uh, expect uh, the electric on the editor view to be moving because it's not gonna move it's only gonna move in the final render so let's uh, grab a couple of spheres for example mm. Let's uh, and definitely need to resize it. We don't need that that big kind of sphere. All right, uh, let's just copy it. Draw C Control V. And let's put it over here. Let's add material to it. For example, just for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna use the blue one. You can also add the uh, same material, the electric to the sphere, and change the projection to be, um, for example, let's make it uh, cubic. Uh, let's just hit render and see what happens. See, it render pretty fast, doesn't take that much time to render. You know, like I said, you know, you want to have a play with a setting, find your uh, whatever setting you think it fit. done so if we hit play as you can see it's animate now I think we need some uh, a lot of frequ uh, frequency on our channel I think if we go to the gradient for the color and we add frequency maybe let's take it higher let's take it to 60 for example let's go to the alpha channel and change it to 60 now we have something going on. Okay, let's do another render. And yeah, now you can see it moves pretty fast. I think it's way better. Let's just hit play. Yeah, now they move really crazy fast. So you know you just want to have a play like I said and you know create your uh, you know find your own setting whatever fits your taste and that's it that's about it that's the tutorial that's how you can create the electric uh, material pretty easy uh, I don't know I know it's not um, what you expected but uh, or something you know maybe expected some real kind of electric or something uh, but yeah this is just a, a simple way to create electric using uh, the materials uh, you know something new to learn anyway guys uh, hope you like this tutorial and uh, if you have any question or you have any uh, request of a tutorial make sure it's uh, 
it's kind of like a, don't give me some basic stuff to do you know give me something give me a challenge you know that's what i mean give me a challenge i like challenge uh, give me something to challenge me yeah give me something hard to make you know and i'll try to make a tutorial for it anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial peace